Hi everybody. I'm gonna tell you about my hair. Okay, so what did I do to my hair today? A lot of you guys were asking. I took a photo, I was in a bathing suit, and my hair was wet, and I just love the way my hair turned out. So I still have some pins in here. Yes, I have pins in my hair. Can you tell? No, they're invisible. It's almost completely dry, and as you can see, it did shrink up a little bit. Um, the back actually shrunk up just a little bit more, so it's up above my shoulders instead of you know, right below my shoulders like it was when it was wet. So let me show you what I did. <clears throat> I'm going to link the video where I talk about this on my YouTube channel down below after a while here so you can look for that. So pin trick number one, to get volume to your roots when your hair is drying. Don't use these kind of pins. Use these kind of pins, right? You've seen these two different kinds. This is a normal bobby pin, which is what I like to use. And this is, you know, kind of a fancy root lifting clip. They have all different kind of clips kind of like that. So with this kind, you're generally supposed to pinch the hair and actually have the hair stand up and then let it dry that way, right? But this is very unattractive and once I get my hair put in place, I might have somewhere to go and I don't want to wait for this to completely dry before I can go out in public. So I use invisible pins. And I basically do the same thing. Um, you can literally grab the, the hair and put your pin sideways and kind of go like that. Or, like I show you in my video, you actually grab a clump you pin up behind and you push up and then that pin gets hidden in there it gives you all the volume here with the lift it continues to allow the curls to flow out behind and you can't even see where I put it I don't even know if I can get it back out again <laughs> so that's a really good trick and then like I say I'll put the link to the video where I explain it all and I do that around the back of my crown and everything and so it gives me this nice style while it's drying so I can go out in public or whatever. And then when it's time to take the pins out, I can wrestle it at my roots and then that's really where it gets fluffy. And one of my favorite things is to kind of go like this and then that makes it stick out real nice right on the sides. So anyway, I think lately I've decided the thing that's been really giving me the volume at my roots, because I didn't even diffuse my hair in that picture that I was showing you. It was still like soaping wet, sopping wet. Um, basically, I hang my head upside down and when I rake my hair, I kind of go in this direction and it really lifts the hair away from my roots. And I let my hair hang upside down for a long time. Um, you know, I'm scrunching it and then I dry off. Maybe I'll put lotion on, I'll go find my clothes. And yeah, I'm walking around with my head hanging down, my hair hanging down the whole time. I like to do that better than plopping because I feel like it doesn't dish figure, disfigure my, my curls. Um, so they stay in the same curl pattern that I put them, upside down obviously, and they can get all that air up at the roots while, while I'm moving around. And I just, every time I try to plop my hair, even though I've tried it so many different ways, I feel like I'm really good at it. I still feel like my curls get kind of squashed or wonky and stuff. So I just let it hang, and then when it's finally time to flip it back, they're just like stuck up everywhere. And then I'll just go and do that little pin trick and it keeps them that way. Okay, so then I'll show you the products I use tonight. Um, you guys have seen me use these products before. I'm gonna come closer. So in my most famous, <laughs> Uh, most popular um, curly hair routine video I use three products and it's a leave-in conditioner from Maple Holistics uh, argon oil conditioner and then I go with the Lulu this is the Lulu stuff that I love to use and eco olive oil gel 
Now, tonight, instead of using conditioner because I was in a hurry, <laughs> I didn't actually wash my hair. <laughs> I just got it all wet. <laughs> so, I was trying to get it smooth and stuff, and I just grabbed this. This is, um, I hope it's not backwards. I hate when it does that. This is Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourish and Silken Styling Gel Cream. So this is a gel cream, and it smells like a bouquet of roses, like, you know, your significant other just dropped you this huge bouquet of roses on your door, and you just stick your nose in. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So, I mean, if you can handle that, then you'll love this. Um, so I put that in first, then the Eco Gel, then the Lulu. And that's all I did. I raked it really well, made sure it was all smooth, and then I scrunched it a whole bunch and let it hang a whole bunch. I did scrunch it with the t-shirt too. I'm excited to take these pins out though because I still want my hair to be bigger. Isn't that funny? Thanks so much for watching you guys. It was fun to have lots of you watching with me and I'll talk to you more later.